in scoring entering tonight. 14.8 points a game. Duke Etzel's into the circle to put the ball in the air. There was our, our officials. Bernard Clinton on the left and Striffler on the right and Etzel in the middle and Doles grabs the tap and we're underway. P.A. Walker kicks it to Jesse Bellarosa, guarded tightly by Goldsberry. Seahawks have a pretty good defensive club. They don't allow a lot of points, and there's a steal, and they get a lot of steals, too, and yeah. there's the first one. And not a very good pass. Quickly, a three at the other end. The shot no good. The rebound knocked around. It's last touch by Doles off the shot by Ed Spencer at the other end of the floor. Well, Michael Doles threw that Aaron pass on the wrong side, Robert. Uh, and, you know, Derek Reed did not have great position. The lob out front for UNC Wilmington. They enter the game at 13 and 4 in league play, 18 and 8 overall. The Rams are 12 and 5 at 16 and 11. And ECU's been playing that solid defense as well of late. They'll need it in this game. Cross court to Ed Spencer. Out front to Goldsberry. Back to Spencer on the wing, and now Goldsberry at the top. Shot clock down to 12. Good defense on the first possession. Ed Spencer a long distance. Three is no good. And there's Nick George for a rebound. A great defensive possession there by the Rams. Very solid on the zone. Front court, Doles, a short jumper. Good. And that's what we need to ha have happen tonight, Robert. Somebody's got to step up, have the big game, other than Nick George, who's going to have a big game up, by the way, anyway. Michael Doles with two. The jumper at the other end, no good. The tap rebound picked up by Ed Spencer. The Rams took off running, and nobody grabbed the ball. Five guys ran the other way. They all, all had a chance at it. Ed Who Spencer is on for first? The bucket. Oh, man. Let's say everybody's anxious to get down the floor. Nick George moving. Here's the jump shot around and out. Good box out by Aaron Coombs. Derek Reed battling for that loose ball, but can't come up with it. Into the front court, John Goldsberry. Just underway, we're tied at two. The cross-court pass on the wing to Beckham Wyrick. Wyrick lobbing it down low to Mitch Law, who got the start tonight. Law banging in on Derek Reed. He walked. He took about six steps. His shot's no good. The rebound tapped around, and Reed comes out of there with it. Physical game underneath in the early going. B.A. Walker matched up against Ed Spencer. Uh, Robert, this game, you would think it would be a low-scoring game because of the, the way both teams play the deep. Boy, I remember last year in February, there's Ed Spencer with uh, too much hands out front. Last year's game here was a 49-41 BCU won. Very low-scoring contest on February 7th. Thank Nick you. George had 11 points and 12 rebounds in that game as Ed Spencer picked up the foul. Well, you know, if BCU makes outside shots, they're going to be in great shape. But... Uh, George the fake of the drive and dishes to Michael Doles for the open look. And on the battle for the ball, Reed tapped it out of bounds as Mitch Law had the rebound. Rebounds may be tough to come by in this one. The Seahawks are pretty good on the boards. Uh, VCU, one for two in the early going in, in uh, Wilmington, one for six. This game matches two of the better coaches in the last three years in the league. They're both young guys and, and, and can really coach. And I'll tell you what, they, they predicate themselves on the solid defense. They work an awful lot on it. Reed making Coombs put that ball on the floor, and Goldsberry's pass is off the hands of Law, out of bounds. Yeah, now Goldsberry did the right thing there. Did a nice little shuffle pass off uh, Combs' hands, but nice, uh, nice defense again by the Rams. Well, you see we're still tied at two. Walker to Pella Rosa. Out front to Nick George. And Michael Doles can't handle that bang. Yeah, now what uh, Wilmington is going to do, Robert, they're going to overplay. They're going to really harass the ball. They take your vision away. They play great, you know, on the ball defense. And when you don't have that vision, I'll tell you what, it's hard to run offense. Goldsberry gets it out front to Beckham Wyrick to Law. Down low to Coombs underneath in traffic. Put it up and a foul. Aaron Coombs with two points. He has scored double figures in seven of his last 15 games. Derek Reed charged with the foul. That's his first. So now Coombs to the free throw line for the chance at a three-point play. He'll convert it, give him three, and give the Seahawks the lead right off the get-go here in the early part of the game, up by three. 
Now, you know why Mitch Law is starting? He might be their best defender. Guess who he's guarding, Robert? So he's got go Nick George. He's got Nick George. Well, yeah. there's a steal by Mitch Law on cue. Taking it to the rack, laying it up, no good. Rams keep the rebound alive. They got an advantage here. Uh -huh. EA Walker under some pressure. Boy, the Seahawks are all over the floor. Here is Pelarosa. His shot won't go down. And Goldsberry comes out of there with a rebound. Into the front court. Reed knocked it loose, but Goldsberry got it back. Ed Spencer around in the corner now to Beckham Wyrick. Top of the key to Mitch Law. Back to Wyrick. Hey, you know, one good thing, the only guy that can beat you off the dribble here, it looks like it's going to be Goldsberry. So they're going to have a lot of stuff going in, and, and Combs is going to be called for an offensive foul right there with, with the whole hook move. And, uh, can't do that, Robert. Gain an advantage. Underneath, a foul on Coombs. A three-point lead for the Seahawks with our first stoppage of play. It's time for the Stephen B. Furniture couch potato of the game. Let's join Rams pump. Rams one for four. Wilmington two for eight. Well, Rams already have three turnovers at uh, and, and Wilmington six three on the board. So that's not a good start for VC. But you know what? It's only five to two. But, you know, they make you play ugly. And uh, Jeff Cable doesn't want to play ugly this evening. Well, there's a lot of overplaying on uh, yeah. Wilmington's part right now. They're overplaying the ball, and they're so, really getting in the passing lane. So what you need is some pressure releases, maybe some backdoors, uh, spread them out a little bit, maybe a little backdoor action. Yeah, that's what they try to do right there. Jesse Pellarosa takes the ball up high. He's guarded tightly by T.J. Carter, who's into the lineup now for Wilmington. Nick George is now working against Beckham Wyrick. Derek Reed in the corner. Capellarosa got a wide open cut, and he got fouled on the way to the bucket. Wow, well, Brad, Brad Ronnell is upset. You get a, a picture of him, he said, there's no way he took a dribble. This is not the NBA. Oh, he, he's not He's not happy. Well, there was a foul on the play, yeah. but the official, and I believe that is Dan Stripler, feeling that yeah. that was a continuation for Pellarosa, yeah. who goes to the line. It now. was a continuation if you're, if you're, if you're the Dallas Mavericks. <laughs> And Pellarosa with a three-point play. We're, but we're going to take it. That ties the ball game up. Jesse Pellarosa has been averaging uh, 7.6 points a game in his last 10 games. All starts. He's matched up tightly against T.J. Carter. Halston Lane's in the lineup, has the ball right there. There goes Carter, dishes in the corner to Goldsberry for an open look. It's a round and off. Pellarosa tips it. Dole saves it. Walker on the run. Seahawks do a good job of getting back, however. Derek Reed leaves it for Doles. Why not? Long distance three around and off on the rebound to UNC Wilmington. Taken out of there by Vladimir Kujanin, who's in the lineup now. Rams have seen those shots go down in their last 10 ball games, especially the last four or five they played here. Halston Lane, the Georgia Tech transfer with a big jump shot for three. And he very, I mean, he likes to shoot that three. He's probably the only one. He and Goldsberry will even pull that trigger. You know, it's surprising. He only averages 8.4 points a game, but he is a scorer. There's no question about that. You got to find him. Jesse Pellarosa with the Seahawks up by three. Kick George baseline and a foul. Yeah. Now there goes Nick George in one of those panted moves. You know, Robert, I was watching a game on CAA Telecast today in the. One of the announcers did not have him on his first team. Now, I don't know what he's smoking or anything, but this guy's the best player in the league. That's your buddy. Oh, he's a good guy, but, but and he's very good at what he does, except that he doesn't know talent. If he doesn't know Nick George is one of the top five players in his league. Of course, we're biased. Now, I will I will give you this much. That was a correction made. They showed oh, the ballot, there? and he, oh, did okay. say, he did say that, you know what, I got to think that Nick hey, George I, you know, belongs on that oh, ballot. Oh, good, because so. well, I know he knows more basketball than that. <laughs> Speaking of Glenn Consor, of course. Yeah, of course. He's a good guy and does his homework. I know you just wanted to get a little dig. Yeah, and plus I can't wait to see him. <laughs> Nick George with a three-point opportunity converts. And the Rams have tied it right up. Nip and tuck in the early going in this one. Out front, the drive by T.J. Carter. His floater's off. The tip by Kujanin, no good. Here goes Nick George off to the races. Trying to get a little help. Off to the wing. George will have to reset to Doles up high. Over to B.A. Walker. Goldsbury draws him. Back to Doles. Steps around the screen. No shot available. Trying to work against Mitch Law. 
Colorosa the dish, little spin move, back to Doles for three, can't get one to go down, rebound batted around and controlled by the Seahawks. Well, again, you know, VCU no offensive rebound, but it's hard. But you, you know what, Robert, VCU had, the last couple games have been tremendous from the three. They haven't had any easy looks, and it doesn't look like they're gonna get any easy looks this evening. So far, they've not been able to get those shots from outside to go down. Halston Lane around a few screens all the way around the perimeter. He backs up for a three. Shot is no good. The rebound in the paint controlled by Wilmington. They kick it back to Halston Lane. His banker won't go. And Colorosa the rebound. Yeah, if these two can make a couple shots, they'll be in great shape. Walker's in a hurry for three, and that's too strong. And the Rams just a little bit too much right now. Now they're trying to force the action a little bit. But you know what? That's good against a team. You got to get this team with the tempo. You got to beat them with tempo. And Wilmington only allows 64.1 points a game. That's second in the CAA. Well, they, Carter. They can't really turn the corner on anybody. They're going to have to settle for jump shots. Carter shoots one there. That's too strong. The rebound in the low post to Kuljanan, and his jump hook is good for Vladimir Kuljanan. Two-point lead. UCU's had a little trouble in the post defense at times. No, I know I know you know where Vladimir's from. Where's he from? From Toronto, Ontario. There you go. But I'm sure those uh, roots are not as deep. If you look a little farther, he may be from other parts of the world. With Jesse Bellarosa over to Doles. Doles pulls up on the jumper, and that one won't go either. And it's one shot and go the other way for the Rams. Yeah, and you know what? He's been there. He's been right there. Everything is just in and out. Rams have not made a three yet. Well, they have been shooting 42.9% from three-point land in their last 10 games. Sometimes you can fall in love with that shot, Joe. How about Wilmington? There's Dolls with a steal. The pass is stolen, though, by Goldsberry. And his pass, the layup to Mitch Law, is good. Dolls had the steal, but his pass was definitely picked off. Rams are down by four. Jeff, timeout. Yeah, this this is, is a 30-second right. timeout. And a good timeout. You don't want this thing early on to get, get too far away from you. There's only four points, but he needs to get some substitutions in there. Everybody's sucking win right now, playing very, very hard. Well, you know, Nick you, George has three uh, points so far in this game. Yeah, Robert, you're talking about Nick George. He's got that patented uh, play, but watch this on the baseline. A nice little fadeaway. He's got great concentration. He can really finish. And that's literally with a hand in your face yeah. there. It's, Beckham Weirich was on the defense. And it looks as though the Seahawks are going to shift assignments with Beckham Weirich and Mitch Law trying to hold down Nick George. DCU, we talked about no looks from the three. They've, they've shot five, uh, five three-pointers. They're 0 for 5, of course, but they haven't been great looks. But the Rams also have four turnovers. DCU with the ball after this 30-second timeout and a four-point advantage for UNC Wilmington. Jamal Schuler has checked into the lineup, Joe, along with Renardo Dixon and Alexander Harper for VCU. Nick George, uh, Michael Doles on the bench. Harper with the give and go, and his layup is good. Nice job. And you see, well, uh, you know, now B.A. Walker, tremendous passer. He was on the wing. He's there at the two slot because of uh, uh, Alexander Harper. Nice job there. Around the perimeter, Lindsey Wilmington works long distance. Three rattles out. B.A. Walker with the rebound of the T.J. Carter miss. Cross court to Jamal Schuler. Won't go down. Rebound batted around out front to B.A. Walker. Schuler not shy. Let it fly. No, and he's a good shooter. He's got a little, get a little confidence. Alexander Harper kicks it over to B.A. Walker. Walker comes around the screen. Coombs flies out and lets him go. Get some help from his defense. Harper matched up to the perimeter to Dixon. Back to Harper. Wilmington really switching a lot on those screens. Calvin Rowland posting up inside. They get it down inside. Jump hook up, no good. Nice rebound by Schuler. Gets it back in the corner for three. Gets it back again and takes it in, and it won't go. Finally, Calvin Rowland puts it in. Well, I'll tell you what, the Rams really getting on, on that possession, Robert. Two and three shots, two offensive rebounds, one by Schuler, and of course the other one by Calvin Rowland for the stick back. 
And we're all tied up again. DJ Carter around the screen. He's the second leading scorer for this Wilmington team. Spencer back to Carter. This is one on the wing to Taylor Lay, and he can shoot the three and does. Lay is a 40% three-point shooter. With the Seahawks, the advantage. Dixon gives it off to Jamal Schuler. Back to B.A. Walker for a three. He got fouled. Dixon trying to keep it alive, and the Seahawks come out with it. Is it that B.A. Walker got fouled on that? Three well, he ended up on the floor. Yeah. Somebody hit him. Ed Spencer on the offensive attack gives it to T.J. Carter with Schuler in pursuit. To Aaron Coons, cross court underneath to Ed Spencer. Jumper's good for the block. Yeah, nice pass by Coons. That's four points for Ed Spencer. You see down five now, Robert. Leonardo Dixon on the wing. Down low to Jamal Schuler. D.A. Walker trying to find some room to work. Where when Coombs flies out on him, somebody's got to be open down there. They get it down to Calvin Rowland. Backing in on Coombs. Steps around him. Laid it up, and it's spun out. Rams keep it alive, though. Harper's got an open look for three, and that won't go. Oh. We, he, he had, we had the right angle right behind that. That was uh, wrong church, wrong pew, the whole thing. Rams will have to do it on the defensive end. T.J. Carter has Harper knock it away. Harper's got Dixon. Two on one with Walker. They give it to B.A. Lays it in. Nice job by Renardo Dixon. But how about the steal on the baseline by Harper? And he makes things happen. B.A. Walker's first bucket. Three-point ball game. Seahawks in front. Booms gives it to Ed Spencer. Spencer from the free throw circle. Jumper won't go down. Dixon tips it over to Jamal Schuler. And out of there with it comes Alexander Harper. Harper lets the offense set. Gives it to Schuler, bounce it down low to Calvin Rowland, squares up on Coombs for a jumper that's wow. in. And that's part of the game I haven't seen from uh, Calvin Rowland. A little baseline jumper. He looked that's like he knew what he was doing, and he probably does. Squared up on Aaron Coombs and knocked it down. Robert, he, he is most improved. He really he's, he's done a great job working hard to get better. Coombs looking inside. Not much there. Gives it off to Spencer on the wing. Taylor Lay and Alexander Harper swats at him and gets called for a hand check. Yeah, that's only the second team foul. There's only seven minutes to go in this half, Robert. We just started the game, didn't we? Seems like it, doesn't yeah. it? We get a timeout here, one point deficit. The Rams down by one. As we mentioned, it is senior night here tonight for a couple of very important guys. Kelly Lemon is standing by for more on that. Kelly? That's right, Robert and Joe. Like you said, tonight we're going to say goodbye to Derek Reed and Michael Doe. And we're going to do that after the game. But we asked Coach, was he going to say anything to those two players prior to tonight's game? Here's his response. Not really. Um, you know, we'll treat it just like another game uh, because that's what it is. It's a big game for us and obviously a senior night and it uh, could very well be their last game here at the Siegel Center. But, you know, we won't do anything special. Uh, you know, we'll just talk to them just like we will for a regular game and hopefully those guys treat it the same way. Like you guys talked about, we hope that they're not too anxious tonight and they'll play regular Ram basketball. Back to you guys. All right, Kelly, thanks. And it's certainly the case, as we said, Joe, it can be very difficult at times to uh, find a way to keep your emotions in check. Well, that's an interesting question Patrice just posed there. This is the, uh, the 12-minute timeout, so the next dead ball will take the 8-minute timeout. The next dead ball will take the 8-minute timeout. How about the Rams right there, 33%. Both teams shooting 33%. And... Um, Wilmington, at least they have their two for eight from the three, and of course VCU is 0 for five. Oh, for, I'm sorry, 0 for eight, Robert. Yeah, that's a lot of threes, and that's yeah. the thing you worry about. You know, we, you, you, the Rams played so well in the sequence of games here. This is the next day Ram replay. So before this game, VCU played William and Mary on Wednesday night and just hit just about everything in sight. Yeah. And then you know you can get a false sense of security maybe a little bit when you when you have a game like that. Jeff Capel probably. Really taking time to tell his team this week after that William & Mary game, look, it's going to be a lot tougher against Wilmington. And right. You find that out when you get out on the floor sometimes. 
Well, and, and you know, both teams tonight, Robert, are going to expend a lot of energy because they they really play great defense. And the Rams were 11 of 29 from three-point land against William & Mary on Wednesday. Here's Goldsbury, a good three-point shooter, leads the league in uh, fact, but wow. misses that one, and then we've got a whistle and a foul. Yeah. I tell you what, over the back there, but he, I think he called him out of bounds first. Yep, very good. Now we get the dead ball, and now yeah, we get the eight-minute timeout. And Detrice is right on top of this. And, you know, our stage manager knows when these we timeouts get the 12 are. 12-minute yeah. timeout, we get the eight-minute timeout. But anyway. Even uh, though it's 6.53 uh, to go. And now we got Nick, Nick George back in the game, and we see the standings right there. Nick George and uh, Michael Doles. But you see why this is a big game, Robert. VCU 12-5 and five in the conference with tonight's win. We're big on 13-5. and five. Tied with UNC Wilmington, but uh, VCU win the tiebreaker because of its victory over Old Dominion. Well, if you look at this thing, Joe, the one place you don't want to be is down there where Hofstra is. No, exactly. Because you got to see who's looking at number five right yeah, there. That's and an opening that's, game. That's that includes right. these standings include what happened earlier today with Drexel beating Delaware. So yeah, you, you don't want to be playing Drexel no, the first round, of and then course. of course you have to play the number one seed yeah. if you should advance after the first round. So you really have to win this game. Yeah, and then the reason why you don't, Robert, is the, the three nights you have to play. You have to expend a lot of energy. But let me tell you something, Robert. There are going to be games all three nights. You have to play somebody. And you know, from top to bottom, you look at the teams in the league. I don't think the you know Old Dominion is a lot by any means. Uh, you know, neither is VCU. I mean, there's there's five or six teams that can win this thing, and uh, now we've already seen Hofstra yeah, knock oh, Old Dominion exactly. off, and they won at Old Dominion. So you know, you can see what Drexel is capable of doing. Uh, we know that Drexel has a win over uh, VCU. Hofstra also has a win over UNC Wilmington. This team, the way they play defense, UNC Wilmington can be a factor. So uh, you really got a wide open tournament. And the number one seed or the number two seed really doesn't guarantee you anything. Yeah, and I tell you what, Hofstra apparently has been playing so well this last couple of weeks. You know, Lauren Stokes, Agudio, I mean, they've got a, a pair of guards that are very, very dynamic. Rodney's enjoying himself tonight. Yeah, and we've got a new statistician tonight, Shane Collin. Welcome him back. Did a great job last year. New statistician who's been here before. A lot of time for this last year. B.A. Walker taking it in, putting it up, and it's out. Aaron Coombe to the rebound. Boy, I tell you what, you love to see the, the statistics. The Rams don't have too many offensive rebounds, Joe. That's for sure. No. Uh, well, we haven't been offensive rebounding the last couple of games. John Goldsbury for three, and that's why he's the leading three-point shooter in the CAA, and that's his first bucket. 44.6% for behind the arc. And, Robert, you don't want to get him started. You don't want him to get started by any means. Four-point basketball game. Alexander Harper working on the perimeter to B.A. Walker. Walker looking for Nick George, finds him around the screen. The jumper's off, and there's another rebound for the Seahawks. Yeah, and you got to make jump shots against this team, because if you don't, they, they just punish you. Goldsbury down inside to Coombs. The jump hook is good. They look like Coombs a different team. Five. They look like a different team tonight. Well, they've been playing very well. They've won eight of the last ten. The only losses in there, I believe, were to Old Dominion and Hofstra. B.A. Walker on the drive, and Spencer picks up his second foul. That'll be key, because that's one of their better perimeter defenders, Ed Spencer, picking up two fouls yeah, here. He's going to come out of the game, as you mentioned that, with 5.45 to go, but he's a very good defender, as you mentioned. And, uh, you know, he could uh, he could slither and slide into the lane offensively, so he's, uh, he's a pretty good offensive performer also. Now, they don't lose anything offensively with T.J. Carter coming off the bench. He's their second leading scorer. Nick George on the inbound. Nice pass to Derek Reed, but as Reed turns to the bucket, he is fouled by T.J. Carter on a reach-in. Yeah, and that's going to be uh, the 16th foul or 15th foul on, on Wilmington. Looks like number five. Nope, number six. Thank your pardon. See Derek Reed setting the screen there. And the Rams get the ball inbounds. And they're all of a sudden down by six. Need a basket here. This yeah. is the kind of team, you know, you hear coaches and you hear announcers talk about it, that when you fall behind as the Rams have trouble with the possession, but still a lot of time on the shot clock. B.A. Walker at the free throw line, and the Rams can't buy a shot. No, and, and it's one and done, as you mentioned before. Here's T.J. Carter letting it go. That's a round and off. Harper had it. It's volleyballed out front. Carter saves it in the backcourt to Goldsberry. Well, you know, I don't think that would have been backcourt if he picked it up, do you? No, he was batted by Aaron Coons back to the midcourt line. 
Here's Mitch Law down the lane. Law hooks a pass to Coombs, who lays it in. And now, when I started to mention earlier, Joe, you're approaching falling behind double digits to a team like this. And you don't want to fall behind a team like Wilmington too far because they, they make it so difficult for you to score. Yeah, they really do. Well, you remember we, we fell behind down there and then we had the 10 point lead. Yeah, with 8.58 to go, and they came back. B.A. Walker for three. There, finally goes one for B.A. That's five for B.A. Walker. Now, Brad Brownell's telling Goldsberry, slow it down. Just let's get in our half-court set here. Goldsberry passes on the wing to T.J. Carter. Beckham Wyrick on the right side. Goldsberry cuts down the lane. Goldsberry lets an off-balance jumper go into the hands of Michael Goals. See, they jump the rebounder, which is a good move. They don't want you to start your fast break because they jump the rebounder. And the Rams love to get out on the break. Get out there before the Seahawks can set up defensively. Nick George working on Mitch Law. Fall away jumper is short. The rebound pulled out by T.J. Carter. George with just three points so far. Yeah, and they just forced, he forced that one, Robert. He needs to just let the game come to him. Goldsbury got the offensive call from the bench. He'll go to work. Give it to Carter. Bounce pass low and inside, and a whistle and a foul spotted in there by Bernard Clinton. I think it's Aaron yep, Coombs yep, again. And that's his second? That's two on Coombs. And both both uh, the same way, Robert. Hooking. Nick George with three points, and the Rams trail 24-19. As we get a timeout here with 322 left in the first half. Well, Kelly Lemon standing by with more for us, and we've got a chance to talk to Brad Brownell before the game about uh, Nick George. And I think Kelly's going to tell us a little bit about that. Kelly? Thanks, Robert. If you've been under the rock for the last, I guess, two or three weeks, you have not seen the performance of Nick George. He's been playing phenomenal right here in the All-Tel Pavilion. And I asked Coach Brunel how he was going or what players he was going to put on Nick George tonight. Here's his response. He's playing as well as anybody in the league right now. Uh, we'll probably put a couple different players on him. I don't think you can just use one. Uh, Mitch Law and Beckham Wyrick will probably be the two guys that, that, that start. Uh, on him the most. Uh, Dayon Gurkovic might get a chance to guard him, and even John Goldsberry at some point may may get matched up with him. So uh, he's certainly playing extremely well, and uh, you know we're not going to be able to stop him. We just got to make sure that he has to take several shots to get his points. And he is tonight. He is taking a lot of shots. Our last game with Nick George had 23 at this point. So hopefully he'll get it back in the second half. Back to you guys. All right, Kelly, thanks. And that's uh, an interesting mix of guys, Joe. They're going to use Nick George right now. It's one for four from the floor, 0 from one from three-point land. It, it seems to me that Nick's uh, situation at this point, he's had more trouble getting the basketball. And when he gets it, he has to give it up so quickly because the pressure's all over him. Yeah, no easy baskets. I mean, it's, uh, you know, they're really cutting him off at angles and, and doing a nice job defensively. But this is what they do all the time. So. We see him, only down five. We just need to take the ball up the floor and uh, maybe get a little thing, something going here. George had 11 points in 38 minutes down at Trask Coliseum on December the 5th earlier this season. Aaron Combs is out of the ball game right now. Three for three, for three. he's got seven points and uh, three rebounds to go along with that. Picked up his second foul moments ago. Michael Doles around the... The switch and somebody's going to be open on that when they yeah. do that out high they follow on the switch and usually someone's open the rams have to get rid of the ball quickly and find the open man you know what robert i'm not so sure that you can run any set plays against these guys you got to maybe go shake and bake i will use a little bit more talent well fellow also knocked down a three yeah. and he's got six and maybe he can get going as the rams now trail by just two yeah and that three was big that's the second three we had there. yeah the second three had, uh, B.A. Walker pressuring Goldsbury after he picked up his dribble. Beckham Wyrick gets it out front. Pelorosa steals it. He's got the breakaway, and he's hit from behind and fouled. Well, Chris, our cameraman, took a charge down there, did a nice job. Halston Lane with the block, and I believe he picked up the foul. Give a shout out to our cameraman. Yeah. I'll tell you why. He took that right in the chest. That was definitely a charge. Good Chris, job, Chris. Chris Munnings is uh, yeah, he's the best here tonight. He's usually upstairs yeah. taking that I, shot you see right now. He's not usually down on the uh, floor. We put him on the floor one time, and he wants to do take charges. 
Pelarosa's free throw is good. That gives him seven. Uh, and Jesse Pelarosa with the steal. He anticipated that very nicely. Put uh, put his body in the passing lane and knocked it away with his hands. And then he couldn't finish because he was a little bear hug. Pelarosa had 10 points against the Seahawks in December. Already, as that free throw spins out, he has seven in this game. Seahawks with the ball and the one-point lead. Goldsbury was unstoppable, and he just drives to the bucket and took it all away. He was unstoppable down at Trask in December. He's got five points in this game. Yeah, he plays so hard, and he's the one guy that, that on this team that can really turn the corner. He had 24 against the Rams. Doles' layup won't go, and the rebound pulled out of there by Gerkovic, or rather, uh, Cool Johnson. Time BC gets close. Seahawks put a little run on. Goldsbury's picked up his dribble. Looks for some help, gives it to Halston Lane. Doles ends up on Goldsbury now with Lane matched up against B.A. Walker after that exchange a moment ago. Shot clock's at six. T.J. Carter driving left of the lane, just threw it up there. And Pelorosa comes out. Yeah. Jesse Pelorosa is so are athletic. B.A. Walker looking at an open three for a moment. Down low to Nick George. Trying to find Calvin Rowland. The ball knocked away from George with a shot clock at 23 and 118 to play in the first half. Now, you know, uh, Nick George would be better off taking this guy off the drill. Give him a little space. George setting a screen for Walker. Gets it back. Matched up against Mitch Law. Pelorosa's in the paint. He's got the open look. It wouldn't go down, though. No, he did have a great look. Didn't look ready to take that well, shot. Well, you know, he's got to come up two feet on that one, Robert. Just go straight up. A little floater. Dominic Lost Jones, control yeah. of the ball a little bit there in the lane, too. It looked Dominic like. Jones used to be so good at that. B.A. Walker's getting good at that, too. Well, Goldsbury on the overplay. Cut back door, and the Rams come up with a steal. Pelorosa had some pressure on him up front. Walker's taking it to the block. Gives it to Doles for three. It just won't go. And the rebound pulled out of there by Mitch Law. You see how much time left in the half and on the shot clock. Wilmington can take the last shot with about a three-second differential here. D.J. Carter gives it to Goldsbury. Back to Carter. They just play a little catch out front. Walker's really trying to keep Goldsbury from getting his hands on the ball. Shot clock's at three. Carter going on Doles. Pull-up jumper is good for oh. three. One last shot from B.A. Walker from near midcourt, and it will oh. Oh, go in and out. Wow, it was it. It was halfway down, Robert. 29-23. The Rams trail by six at the half, and here's uh, Kelly Lemon with Jeff Capel. Coach, looks like we're making good shots. They're just not falling in. You know what, Kelly? We're doing too much one-on-one -on, -one on offense. We're not moving the ball. We got, we're got we taking our shot selection. Hasn't been as good. Therefore, we haven't made as many shots. Good luck in a second. Thank you. Better shot selection there as his team trails by six. And VCU 9 of 30 from the floor in the first half. That is a far cry from the way they've been shooting the ball over the last 10 games. Yeah, you're really right. I mean, uh, you just mentioned 9 for 31. Not very good for 29%. But you know what, Robert? A lot of them were halfway down. And it came right out, but you know they're not great, great looks. But this team makes you look. They make make you play sloppy. They make you take those kinds of shots, or you're not going to score. So the Rams find themselves trailing by six in a very important basketball game. We'll be back with the second half in a moment. We'll take a look at some highlights as we head to timeout, and then we'll have the second half for you. So. Stay tuned. The Rams trying to find a way to get things going, get some of the shots to go down. Jesse Pelorosa with seven. This one out, or they could be finding themselves in a place they don't want to be come tournament time next week. There you see the matchups starting on Friday. And then the, the Rams trying to get into that 6 o'clock game as the number two seed. The winner of this game will get that number two slot. No question about that. Right, the Seahawks start with the lead and the ball. Now, Robert, this first five minutes is extremely important, especially in this game. Aaron Coombs down inside. 
Coombs leaning in, jump hook is good. And just like that, Coombs would not. And that's not the start I envisioned, and I'm sure Jeff Cable hasn't envisioned that, but well, it's early. We've got we to make something happen here. Jesse Polarosa is going to step into a jump shot. It won't go. Calvin Rowland fighting inside. And a whistle, wow. and the ball went out of bounds, but no foul. No riding time on there on that one. Somebody got him on the yeah, hand. Yeah, you can see it from here, but maybe um, Bernard Clinton was behind it. Maybe he didn't have a great angle. B.A. Walker going deep into the backcourt, threw it over Nick George's head, but he's able to go trace it down. Uh, and that was not a bad play. It was a pretty smart play here. And you're able to do that on the inbound play. Coombs is four for four. So you just can't get receivers open. Alrosa back to Walker. Up front to Michael Doles. Inside to Calvin Rowland for the layup. Nice pass by Michael Doles. He threw in a, real, on a good side of Calvin Rowland. He had to do catch it and lay it in. But he threw it away from the defense going towards the rim. Rams need to make something happen defensively now. But you know, we need something to, to get the uh, the crowd in the game. Seahawks looking to go to Aaron Coombs. Goldsbury and Walker collide. B.A. is going to get called for a foul there. Yeah, that was just uh, bad luck by B.A. Walker. Unfortunate timing right there. Almost had an interception. First foul on Walker. That's two fouls on VCU here early in the second half. Team fouls, I think. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's only the first one, Robert. Goldsbury looking for somewhere to go. Fires on the wing to Ed Spencer. To Mitch Law. Spencer gets to Goldsbury for an open look at a three. It's a round and off. Colorosa in there for the rebound. Comes up with it eventually. The outlet to Doles. Looking for Nick George maybe on the break. Doles in the lane. Has to come back out to Roland. Doles will try again. Back to Walker. Really not a lot of room for anything out there. Michael Doles looking inside to Roland. Turns and faces up. The jumper short and the rebound to Beckham Wyrick. Spencer to Coombs. The entry to Law. Law in the paint. Jump hook off the glass. Coombs the tap. No good. Dole's out of there with the rebound. Well, the Rams need their scorers to step up, Joe. You, yeah, Calvin Rowland's right. a fine option, but you know, you've got to get as Dole's takes the jumper, and there it is. Absolutely right there. Michael Doles with five. And, and he you know, gets the crowd a little bit, you know, a little bit of game, just, uh, just a little bit more energy. Goldsbury around the perimeter. Out high to Aaron Coombs. On the wing, Spencer. Paloso on him. Goldsbury trying to shake loose. Walker finally comes around the screen to get to him. On the wing to Coombs, who drives in. Running shot is good, and Coombs has 11. Yeah, he's having a career tonight. Well, that's double figures now in eight of the last 16 games for Aaron Coombs. So He's perfect tonight, five for five so far. Got to find a way to stop him. Rams have been concerned about their close defense coming into this game. See, there's a case right there. They don't let you penetrate. They hold you. Mitch Law picks up the foul. That's his first. That's well, team foul number one on the Seahawks. Derek Reed's back into the lineup now as Calvin Rowland takes a seat. D.A. Walker driving the lane, take it in, it wouldn't go, and there's a whistle and a foul. You really needed that one to go down, but D.A. Walker to the line. Huh? Was Dan Striffler ever in the NBA? Because, I mean, right then again, he called that foul, and, you know, he's making a move. Brad Brownell's not happy with that. And I don't mean that as a negative comment. I mean, you know, just... Walker at the free throw line, and that shot is good. D.A. now with six. Ed Spencer takes a seat for UNC Wilmington. Boy, in three years, Brad Brunell's 57 and 30. In three years, Jeff Capel's 57 and 29. In their three years as head coaches. Shots no good. The rebound pulled out of there by Vladimir Kuljanin. So it is a four-point basketball game. First few minutes of the second half. Goldsbury to the perimeter. Leaves it for Wyrick looking inside. Kuljanin and Reed are tangled up, and I think Darius going to get called for the foul. It's his second. 
Well, anytime you use your hands, uh, Robert, to step around, you need to step around and get your feet in position. Whenever you use your body or your, your, that swim move, they're gonna call it. Uh, we saw it called on Aaron Coombs here a couple times, and that time Derek Reed was guilty. Wyrick to Carter, to Lane, quickly inside. Well, John is spinning around, fell down, lost the ball. Pelarosa trying to break out over to Nick George. But the Seahawks get back, and now we've got an offensive foul. Or do we know we've got a foul against Cool John? And no, it's no. on Derek Reed. Yeah, I see. Now, I don't know what was transpired in there, but that's not a good foul. We had the numbers, we had an advantage. Uh, we had two guys on Derek Reed, and he, he just used his hands. Sam Fox going to check in. Derek Reed is going to take a seat. But that was a big possession, Robert, because now uh, you know I could have cut it to two or even to one. Here comes John Goldberry. Working on B.A. Walker. Now, Wilmington's a team that plays possession at a time, uh, offense and defense. They really uh, pride themselves on, on possession at a time. Well, you don't get a lot of turnovers and dead balls with this team. Yeah. See, and, and you, you got to take their vision away. From the wing for three, the rebound's tapped out to Goldsburg. Yeah, smart play. Rams can't get on the boards at all to this game. DJ Carter picked up his dribble. Bellarosa with some ball pressure. There's John Goldsbury right out front. Driving on B.A. Walker. This is the Halston Lane for three, and he's fouled to go along with it. Michael Doles picks up his first foul, and Halston Lane's got six points. Yeah, and that's not, uh, that's not a good one right there. That really hurts. And we get a stoppage in play. So Calvin Rowland gets things started in this first yeah. this part of the second half. But I had him sealed, Robert, and there's a, there's a case in point where he threw, we talked about the pass. It was thrown to the correct side. All he had to do was, you know, catch it on the sealed side and just lay it in. But a nice entry feed by Michael Doles. And Michael Doles with a key jump shot as the Rams need some scoring in the second half. This is getting killed off the glass tonight, Robert. 28 to 19 so far. That's not good in a game like this, especially where every rebound magnifies itself. Well, the Rams are shooting 31% for the game. Well, we had a feeling coming in, Joe, it wouldn't be that easy offensively. And right. It has not been. The UNC Wilmington, I mean, they're the defensively you know, one of the top rebounding teams in the in the conference. Uh, and you can see why. Now, they're always in great position. Rams are two of four from the floor to start this second half. But they've got six offensive rebounds tonight, and I think, you know, about three of them came on one possession. Halston Lane looking for a four-point opportunity as he knocked down a three-pointer and then uh, ended up getting fouled on the play, and it is an eight-point game. B.A. Walker to Michael Doles, off of Sam Falk. To Nick George. Back to Doles, to Pelarosa down the lane, needing that runner to go, and it won't. And the rebound comes loose to Sam Falk, who lays it in. Yeah, now maybe the break we needed. Uh, Wilmington had a couple breaks in the first half, the ball's rolling around. If you can remember correctly, Robert, a ball, an errant rebound. All nine guys ran one way, and the Seahawks ran another way and got the layup, but uh, we need something good to happen to us. Wyrick on the wing, T.J. Carter now out front to Halston Lane. To Wyrick over to Goldsbury. Goldsbury behind the back pass, Wyrick left open and he'll score. That, that, that was a fantastic pass, it was very simple. Behind his back and just, uh, wow. I mean there was no mustard on that one, just a nice solid play. 
Nick George to Michael Doles. Doles spinning on Halston Lane. The banker won't go, and Sam Falk lost the rebound. And Nick George still has three first half points. Yeah, now Bernard Clinton's going to. Duke had that. He had that right. No, he lost the rebound. He went off Sam Falk, I thought. Yeah, yeah, I think Duke had that right. I mean, yeah. and Jeff Capel says no, but. Now Wyrick will inbound it, and the Rams find themselves down by eight. And now you don't really want to go down by ten here. Wyrick, Darren Coombs. That ball kicked the, out of bounds eventually. It's actually off Sam Fox's knee. Let's take a maybe got another look yeah. here if our crew got a shot there of the rebound here. Let's see what happened. It went yeah. off Fox's hand last. Yeah, it was not even a question. The lob goes into the backcourt. TJ Carter chases it down. TJ caught that one while he's a wide receiver. Goldsbury all alone out there, and you can't do that. Yeah, that zone. I tell you, I, I, I like that, that zone right there, but wow. John Goldsbury with eight points. And the Rams are down by 11. This will be a full timeout here. And the Rams called timeout for 30 seconds. And VCU now finding itself in a world of trouble here down by 11 to this team. Uh, and VCU only shoot 31%. Robert 12 for 38. Wilmington 17 for 38 for 44%. Helped by that three-point shot by Goldsberry. He's got eight points, as you mentioned. Combs got 11. Perfect five for five. But uh, VCU 20 rebounds compared to Wilmington 29 rebounds, and that hurts. Now, you know one thing VCU doesn't have a lot of tonight? They have seven assists, Robert. In the last couple games, they've been getting 22, 23 assists, and uh, not there tonight. Oh, Nick George has three points. See the hustle stats up there. Uh, VCU's got five steals. Wilmington's only got three, but offensive rebounds. The Rams have seven offensive rebounds. I'm a little surprised. I don't think they had that many, but uh, of Like course, I said, I think about yeah. four or five came on yeah. one possession there. Yeah, the it, it did, it did, it did. And when Schuler got an offensive rebound and ended up with a stick back by Calvin Rowland, we got two or three on that uh, one possession. It was such a key game to get the number two seed and stay out of that number four slot. See the updated statistics. Rams shooting 31.6%. In the last 10 games, they've shot 51% from the floor. And as Joe mentioned, they got an awful lot of assists, which they're just not getting tonight. Big seen, crowd here for yeah. this game tonight. We haven't seen Alexander Harper this half at all so far. Still 14, almost 13 and a half. This is the biggest lead by the Seahawks right now, 11, huh? Wow. Here comes D.A. Walker to the front court. There's Harper on the bench. Nick George to Sam Fogg. Yeah, they're getting great help help on uh, uh, the cuts. Michael Doles. Down low to Nick George. Fall away jumper from George is short, and the rebound goes out of bounds. It's last touch by VCU. And that one could be questionable. Yeah, now that one, that one. That one you might have a you might have a good case on that one. Austin Lane to Aaron Coombs, John Goldsberry. DJ Carter crossing it over, taking it down the lane. Felarosa swats it away from behind. Over to B.A. Walker. Rams are forced into the half court set where they just haven't been able to find too many shots. Nick George inside. And Sam Fox scores on the block. I need a couple stops on this end, Robert. DJ Carter, Melorosa draws him. Halston Lane dialing it up, and a whistle and a foul. 
Again, same play. Called by the same corner, same participants, same everything. Halston Lane gets 10. And he'll go to the line. Sam Falk is called for the foul. Was that off the ball? That was off the ball, Joe. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I thought he was Duke called Edsel that. made that yeah. call under the basket. I mean, yeah, I was going to say, that was a long way to make that. So the basket is good, and Sam Falk is called for the foul, and now UNC Wilmington scores on the yeah. inbound play. He, he just fell asleep at the switch there, Robert. And this is a 14-point game. Nick George is catching the ball 30 feet from the basket. Jumper no good, and the rebound, Aaron Coombs. T.J. Carter on the wing, Pelarosa on him. To Wyrick, into the corner, Halston Lane again. This one won't go down, and over the back comes Wyrick. Well, again, Halston Lane misses that... Uh three-point shot, but this year, and the, the problem is on the offensive end, Robert, they really haven't been able to get anything going. Lane three for four from the, from the three, he's got 12 points. Dole's only two for nine, he's only getting five points. It's not a very good night right now for Michael, but he's got 11.28 to go. Well, UNC Wilmington is smothering the Rams offensively. And the Seahawks, led by six at the half, they pushed it up to 14 now. Well, they came out here, Robert. They hit some threes, but they also did a nice job on the defensive end. Kelly Lemon standing by with an update for us. Kelly? Thanks, Robert and Joe. Uh, I talked to Coach Cable before the game. UNC Wilmington doesn't have any outstanding stats, although they are 13-4 and four in second place in the CAA. I asked Coach Cable, why does he think this UNC Wilmington team is so good? Here's his response. They're a very good team, is what they are. They may not have any individuals that stand out, uh, but they just are a very good team. They understand how to win. They do everything together, and that's what makes them such a good team. Uh, they're going to defend you hard. They're going to play hard. They're going to be physical. They're going to execute their offense, and you know it's a reason why they're sitting with 13 wins right now in the conference. And they're definitely playing like that 13 to 4 team against these Rams. Back to you guys. Now, VCU can't get anything to, to fall in the bucket. It's very unlike the way the Rams have been playing of late. And, and Jeff Cable made a very good point there. They're, they play together. Defensively, they play together. And, and it's hard to get your team to do. I mean, that's good coaching. 14-point deficit. And Jesse Pellarosa will inbound. There's Nick George with just three points all in the first half. He came into tonight needing 18 to get to 1,000 career points. That seems like a long way away now. Alexander Harper to Jesse Pellarosa with an open look at a three. And you got to knock it down if you're going to get it. You see you three for 15, Robert, now. And you know you're getting one yeah. shot and you're going the other way. It's the way this game has gone. John Goldsberry. Halston Lane's got an open lane to the bucket. No look pass to Coombs. Reverse layup good. Coombs with 13. Yeah, now they're filmed. They're running a clinic out there. Got to do better defensively. Alexander Harper off to Pelarosa. Nick George taking it to the lane, dished off to Sam Falk, who tried to slam it down, but there was a whistle beforehand. Uh, when Nick heard that whistle, he should, he should have hoisted it up to the rib. Might have been too late, though. T.J. Carter will pick up his second foul. And the Rams will inbound with 10.38 left in the game. B.A. Walker, baseline floater, and that won't go. And underneath, Alexander Harper came out of there with a the rebound, put it back up, and got fouled. You know, I talked to Alexander Harper about his rebound. You know, he's a very good rebounder for a point guard. Always ends up with four or five. I think he's, he's averaged almost five rebounds a game. And for a point guard who doesn't play all the minutes, that's pretty darn good. 
But he talked about, you know, going for every ball, thinking it should be his. And I think there's a lot to be said for that. The Dennis Rodmans of the world, they uh, they just think rebounding, Robert. And, you know, when the shackle's up, they're just going to get it. You know, so much of that is positioning. You know, be in the right place. Harper's free throw is good. Rams need every point they can get right now. That's three points for Harper. And we see Calvin Rowland back in, replacing Sam Plunk, who gave the Rams four points in the minutes he was in there a moment ago. Yeah. Yeah, Layup by Combs a couple of minutes ago. I think, think Rowland, I mean, uh, Plunk has the only points for the Rams about the last five minutes. Yeah, I think you're right. Except for Harper's free throw there. See if he can get another one. It is up and it is good. Give four to Harper. Now, VC is going to extend this full court, which they need to with 10:31. Uh, now, there's a lot of time left. They just need a couple of stops here. And but we need to score on the other end. Harper making Goldsberry do a lot of work. He takes it left of the lane, and the jumper's good. Man, yeah, that, that that's, tough. that just kills you right there. That's 10 for John Goldsberry. He that had 24 tough. down in Wilmington earlier this year. You know, I, I said this at the beginning of the year, Robert, when we saw him play down in, Goals, uh, uh, down in Wilmington. But he might have been the best point guard in the league. Solid, just a solid performer. B.A. Walker put his head down, tried to make something happen. Roll on the block at the other end. Colorosa. Be that. Court Goldsberry stopped him. Yeah. yeah, this is falling apart now. Yeah, it's getting real sloppy. And Brad Brunel says, let's give it to Goldsberry and settle everybody down. John Goldsbury for three. It's no good. The rebound pulled out by Calvin Rowland. Give it to Jesse Pelarosa. Nick George back to Harper. Harper trying to find an open lane. Put it up and banked it in. And that's six for Harper. Okay, it's cool. We're only down 14. A lot of time left. Nine, nine plus. And Brad Burnell will take a timeout here with 9-12 to play in the basketball game. And his team up by 14. Rams now shooting 31-8, Robert. 14 for 44. Only 3 for 15 from the 3. They've got 25 rebounds. Uh, Wilmington, on the other hand, 21 for 46 for 45%. They've got 7 3-point shots. 2 by Goldsbury, 3 by lane and i'll tell you what the 32 rebounds to go with 11 assists the rams have 25 rebounds to go with eight assists so uh you know so far we, we really haven't been able to score harper's had one of the easier shots of the night even that was contested and he absorbed the contact nice little kiss off the glass but there's something good to happen here robert Get this thing down, uh, you know, with about eight minutes to go, maybe another minute. We have this thing under uh, single digits, and we got to run it. Well, Michael Doles is two for nine tonight. Nick George, one for six. B.A. Walker, two for eight. Those are your top three scorers entering tonight for VCU. Lay kicks it out front. Spencer driving around. Harper swatted at it, and Spencer just took it right to the basket. That's six for Spencer. That's too easy. Spencer turned the corner right there. I didn't think he had that kind of speed, but obviously he does. 16-point lead. Walker to Doles. Over to Dixon. Back to Doles. To B.A. Walker. The fake. Steps into a jumper off the mark. Rebound to the Seahawks. Yeah, too hard to score. Too hard to score. They're not giving you anything. And now there's only eight minutes left, and Brad Burnell just says, hold on. Ball knocked into the backcourt, picked up by D.J. Carter. And kind of spread the floor out a little bit here, and they'll take some time off the clock. Lay falls down while dribbling. B.A. Walker comes up with a loose ball, and then he's hit from behind by Spencer in a foul. Yeah, There's a couple of errant maneuvers right here. Rams will get the basketball. Goldsberry is in, and Ed Spencer is out. That's four fouls on Spencer, but it hasn't mattered so far with UNC Wilmington up by 16. UCU has 14 points this half. 
Been a very high scoring club over the last four or five games. Harper the crossover. Dishes to Doles as he falls down, but just looks nobody open. Doles with a contested shot, no good, and the rebound right to Vladimir Kuljanic. Troy, they really, they really smother you. They don't give you anything. 7.30 to go in the game. VCU's only got 37 points. Driving is T.J. Carter, and his shot's going to be good. And that's five for T.J. Carter. And all of a sudden, VCU is almost down by 20 points. Yeah, 18. I mean, you just watch. Here's Dixon. He'll try to get something going, and that won't go down. And that's the best shot the Rams can get right now. Somebody, it seems that way. Him, yeah. TJ Carter left alone. The shot no good. Wyrick's on the back. That'll be his third foul. That'll be immediate timeout, but wow. Brad Barnell saying, you know, maybe we didn't need that shot. 649. We got an 18-point lead. Let's let's take a little time off. Well, the Rams led UNC Wilmington by 10 with 828 to go back on December the 5th, but all of a sudden there was some pressure and the Rams started turning. But again, but BCU's got a long way to go in this one. No, they really do, but only shooting 14 for 47, under 30 percent, 29.8. Not good. Now, if you're gonna have a bad one these next couple of games, get this one out of the way now. Because if you lose tonight, it's okay. You can't lose the next three, though. You've got to win the next three. But anyway, this is, like we said, we're still not over with 649. Stranger things have happened, and you know, the way we've been shooting threes. Not tonight, though, but, uh, you know, something's going to have to happen for the Rams. I think, the, you know, if you don't pull this one out of the fire, you end up in that number four seed, yeah. then you got to play Drexel, and I just don't think that's the matchup you wanted. You're going to have to play somebody in the tournament, obviously. But. Yeah, well, I watched Drexel play on the two, and they can, they can be beaten. But we, uh, they beat us here on the 50-foot banker, but uh, we beat them up there, so. Right there. You know, the other interesting stat that we scrounged up before the game is that Jeff Capel's had a marvelous record, but he is 1-4 and four against UNC Wilmington entering tonight's contest. Yeah. Maybe you see some scores there. Uh, Drexel won today by... Back to action. Some of the crowd here, big crowd tonight. A little stunned to see the way this one's gone so far. Michael Doles with just five points. He's been averaging 17 points a game in his last four games. Doles, a 75.8% free throw shooter, makes that. That's point number six. Next shot for Doles on the way, and that is around and in. Seven for Doles, and we'll see some pressure now. Goldsbury in the backcourt. Gets it quickly ahead to T.J. Carter. Rams need turnovers and stops, and then they've got to convert those into points. Now, notice what they did here, Robert. A little delay game by putting Combs up high. They're going to revolve around him. And Dixon with a foul. And Brad Burnell talking to Aaron Coombs for a moment over there on the sideline. So uh, at the showcase, the VCU Invitational Showcase, where we bring all the seniors in the last couple years, we've had some kids from Wilmington. We had Anthony Terrell last year, who was really a a great player, Bull in the China Shop, but the year before, Craig Callahan. And uh, I told these guys, there's a reason why these guys are willing to win a lot of games is because they've gotten very good players, and they know what to do with them. Another shot by the left-hander, Halston Lane. Halston Lane's had a nice game so far, hasn't he? Yes, he has. Well, he's got double figures, got 13 points. Made those threes over there where 
One time he got fouled for the four-point play, and the other time someone else got fouled. Michael Dole spinning into the blocks, and that shot's off. It's just... You know, there's a slippery spot down in this end, Robert. Everybody's sl slipping and sliding right there about that right elbow. Both offense and defense. Rams are 3 of 16 from three-point land, and they're shooting 29% overall. And Coombs makes the catch down on the block. Little jump hook in the lane's no good. Calvin Rowland with a rebound. And that's his first miss. Yeah, Coombs is what, 5 of 5 before that? Yeah. 6 of 6. He was, he's now 6 of 7. Nick George fires away, and even Nick can't get one to fall tonight. And a whistle and a foul on Calvin Rowland. And that's the uh, seventh team foul on the Rams. Wilmington also has seven, Robert, so it's going to be a free throw fest here in the last uh, 5.33. There's Calvin Rowan. He very much improved this year, Robert. He, you can see his improvement over the year. When B.A. Walker comes in here for uh, Bernardo Dixon and now Alexander Harper's taking a seat. Uh, I think Pellaros is coming back in here, but... You know, uh, Calvin Rowland has really, really improved tremendously. Austin Lane continues to add to his total. As Taylor Lay waits to check in. And Lane's not quite ready to leave the game yet. He missed the <laughs> I, shot. You think he missed enough purpose, huh? Michael Doles pulls up for the three, and that one won't go. Nick George, the rebound, puts it back in for point number five, his first points of this half. Rams have put some pressure on, but it doesn't seem to be doing much good here as Doles tips one out of bounds. Taylor Lay is in. Halston Lane takes a seat. Lane with 15 points in this ball game. Just the delay game out front now for the Seahawks. And here folks, a five minute mark. Pull up jumper by Lay, a little strong, and the rebound pulled out by Pelarosa. Off to be a Walker. Walker around the screen, he'll dial up the three, and the Rams can get that one to fall. That's nine for B.A. Walker. And BCU is down by 14. They need a few more of those with some stops. Yeah, that'd be nice. Nice crowd here tonight, a lot of students. B.A. Walker got open, and it's one of the few open shots the Rams have had tonight. How about no Rams and double figures tonight? Yeah, they came into the game, BCU did. Nick George was averaging 18.9 points a game in conference games, 17.2 overall. Michael Dole was averaging 16.4 points a game in conference games. B.A. Walker, 12.7 in conference, 12.4 overall. Walker's got nine. Doles has seven. George has five. Pelarosa has seven all in the first half. Pressure on T.J. Carter. The fans on the far side want to walk. Austin Lane into the front court. This is to Aaron Coombs in the corner. His pass is deflected. Doles comes down there with it. Ahead to Nick George on the breakaway. The layup is good, and he got fouled. And you never know. Now, that proves it to 12. Nick George's free throw can bring it to 11. And now the crowd's in the game. 420. I like what VCU did there on their pressure, pressure offense, our defense. They double teamed, they corralled, they ran down from behind Aaron Pass. But they got it on the hands of Goldsberg. Well, the old saying is turnabout is fair play, and Wilmington got the Rams at Wilmington earlier this year with a 10 point lead with 828 left. Here's the breakaway as Doles goes to George, and then George gets fouled as he'll go to the line. Need to convert the free throw. It's a little short. 
Walker pressuring Goldsberry. Now Walker gets called for a foul. That'll be Walker's second. It's Goldsberry kid is together, isn't he? He's solid. He's tough. Yeah, he's solid. Some of the Rams fans didn't like that call. It's Mitch Law back in the lineup. Goldsbury had 24 against the Rams back on December the 5th. He had eight in last February. His free throw is good. He's got 11 in this game. And before that, the Rams were on a 7-0 run of their own, but Goldsbury stopped that. Vandalia, Ohio. Now, I'm not going to ask you a dumb question. I know it's, it's, it's Vidalia, Georgia. So you thought I thought, man, I was going to talk about onions. Yeah, <laughs> I was, I was so wondering I know, where you I know going. how you think that I think. I didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> I'll spare you this one. 14-point deficit. Michael Doles trying to find an open shot. This is to Sam Falk, who had it knocked away from behind. Pelorosa gets it. This is to Doles. They need this one to go. That's 10 points. Goldsbury's calling a timeout deep in that corner. It looked like he might have traveled on that inbound play, but apparently not. Now the Rams fans are in the game. Well, he caught that ball, Joe. I thought he took a couple extra steps. Uh, I think he might be right. Was Rodney. Rams 18 for 54. Robert now 33 percent. Five for 19 from the three. Eight for 11 from the from the uh, foul line. They've got 30 rebounds, 10 assists. Uh, Wilmington 23 for 51, 45 percent. Seven for 20 from the three. Seven or eight from the foul line, and they've got 38 rebounds with 11 assists. Turnovers. The Rams only have seven turnovers. They have two blocks, seven steals. Wilmington, nine turnovers, no blocks, and five steals. Now, Wilmington doesn't turn it over a lot. No, they really don't. Well, this Goldsberry kid doesn't turn it over, period, does he? Yeah, I don't know if he does. He's... God bless America. He's so solid with the ball. Well, that's an 11 point deficit for the Rams to work with. They need a stop. And they got a huge three from Michael Doles there a moment ago. Austin Lane inbounds to Coombs, get it back to Lane. They it's find double team right now. There you go. Get it out of his hands. Do it right to you. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I was going to step to the pass on that one. <laughs> but I couldn't step to this TV monitor. There's a TV timeout. Good pressure by the Rams, and they're they're doing the same thing to Wilmington that Wilmington did to VCU in that game show back in December. Yeah. Put pressure on the ball and making the Seahawks turn it over, hopefully. Well, we had the 10 point lead down there, Robert, and then I don't know how it dissipated, but uh, that's this kind of things we just did that we saw right here. Wilmington do it. Now, VCU come out. We've got to get a quick score here. Get the pressure back up again. You never know what can happen. Well, we talked about John Goldsbury, and that pass he just threw a moment ago was rare. He's been averaging 34.9 minutes this season has 10 games with one or less turnovers that's a pretty good statistic yeah very good statistic and that was his third turnover of the night tonight according to the stat sheet here well and when you have the ball as much as he does three turnovers is not bad he's got uh well he's got the four assists anytime you have more assistant turnovers you're in good shape his, Seahawks his, have 10, 10, excuse me, Robert, they do have the 10 turnovers, as I mentioned before. Goldsberry's assist to turnover ratio, by the way, is third in the league at 2.53. Third in the CAA. But he turned it over there, and the Rams need to knock down a three here now and see what they can make happen. you will get the basketball out of this timeout. And this crowd's starting to get fired up now. They really are. 
Well, UNC Wilmington had him sitting on their hands for the first 37 minutes here. Ray Walker. Yeah, look what's happened. They went for the zone. Dixon, goals for three. Got it. That's what we need right there. Rams doing some chasing. They left Ed Spencer open. He doesn't want to take the shot. That's well, the other thing that yeah, happened exactly. down at uh, UNC Wilmington was VCU did the same thing, trying to work clock. He had an open jumper in the lane. Beckham Wyrick knocked away from behind, but out of bounds. Wow. You know something? If Michael Doles knocked that from behind. If B.A. Walker was able to pick that up, Michael Doles had a wide open lap, cut this thing to six. Now, Robert, 3.01 left. There's still a lot of time left in this game. Shot clock is at 13 seconds for Wilmington here on this possession. Oldbury out front. No, you, got, you got to get that one right they there. They gave it back to him. Shot no good, and the rebound to Michael Doles. Here come the Rams. The lob. No, it's not a, not a, not a smart play, but you know, you got to forget about it. Gotta go on. The next play. And Doles gets called for the reach around, but. Boy, you really needed a basket there after the turnover. That'll make yeah, your hair turn Coach great. Cable, he's not, he's not happy about that. But like he says, you know, you got to go to the next play. He's telling these guys to box out. Still one-on-one. -on -one. Now, the next foul on the Rams will put uh, Wilmington into the double bonus, Robert. It'll be the 10th team foul. Ed Spencer going to the free throw line. Well, this place is becoming a din of noise right now. And Spencer with ice water in his veins gets a seven point. That's quite a turnaround. You go from missing the lob to. Yeah. Now you could have cut it to six right there. But hey, listen. We got to forget about it and go on. It's 240 to go. We got to knock in. Uh, I got a couple shots now. Got to put a little pressure on the, on the defensive side of the ball. Spencer will try it again. Knocks them both down. And Spencer with eight. And the Rams trail by 10. B.A. Walker in the front court. Gets it to Renardo Dixon off to Nick George. Back to Michael Goles. He spins down the lane, and he's going to get called for traveling. Yeah, he's trying to make a little bit too much to happen there, but you have to. You've got to force the action. I think he had Nick George open in the corner if he could have kicked yeah, it out to him. I, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, on the spin dribble, turned his head away from it. But you know, in Michael Dole's defense, something's got you got to make something happen, Robert. Just 227, you're down 10. You, know, you can't, uh, you can't use a lot of clock. You got to make it, make it happen. Austin Lane will inbound the ball. The Rams will not guard the man throwing the ball inbounds. And there's Zoles over the top for another foul. That's his third. Well, the Seahawks were cruising along. At the free throw line is Beckham Wyrick. 76% free throw shooter. In fact, Wilmington's a very good shooting team from the line, and Wyrick connects. It's three points for Wyrick. And 10 for 11 from the line with that one right now. Second shot is around and off. And Nick George with the rebound. Every miss helps, but the Rams need points. B.A. Walker. To Nick George looking inside to Dixon. Kick it up to B.A. Walker. Walker a floater at the line, no good. And Goldsbury pulls the rebound out of there. And then a foul is called on B.A. Walker. And that'll be his third. Brad Brunel discarded his jacket in the last minute or so. So now Walker going to the free throw line. 
UNC Wilmington has made 75% or better of their free throws in 11 of the last 15 games. And John Goldsbury knocks that one down. That's going to give him 13. Goldsbury is a 76.8% shooter from the line. And he makes both. And all of a sudden, we're right back where we started. 13-point no, game. Did I read where he's a, a coach or something? I don't know. I, 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 I don't like recall right off the top of my head. Walker's layup is good and a timeout. That's 11 for B.A. Walker. A 30-second timeout taken here by the Rams. Uh, you see the uh, field goal percentage right there. Wilmington 44.2, VCU 35.1. So uh, Jeff Cable's telling his team, you, know, you got to go in, you got to play hard, but you, you, know, you might have to foul, stop the clock. That's the only way you're going to win this game, Robert. Well, the Rams had to what, 60 to 52, I think it was, right? Yeah. yeah. And basically, what you got to do is trade uh, three for two or maybe three for one here. Well, there's so many games this year that you, know, you think back of the Drexel game. You know, the Rams would love to get one to go their way in these types of games. Thought for a moment this one might be it, but there's still a chance, but there's a long way to go. The Wilmington's such a tough team again at that free throw line that you've got to hope for some misses eventually or some turnovers here. Mitch Law goes to Goldsbury, they find him easily. Goldsbury double teamed to head to Law, to Wyrick, back to Goldsbury. Drive it to the bucket. Dixon knocked the ball away. Dixon saves it. And a whistle and a foul on Wilmington on Goldsbury, diving in behind Pelorosa. And that'll put the Rams on the free throw line now. Jesse Pelorosa, 64.8% from the line. Grab right now, Tom. Listen, you don't have to do that. Don't, don't force the action. The number two seed in the conference tournament's at stake here tonight. That's Goldsberry's first foul. Pellarosa's free throw is good. That'll give him eight points first this half. The second shot is good. That gives him nine to put those points on the board without the clock moving. Harper is into the ball game and Gold is out. Now Doles has four fouls, so that's a defensive substitution there. Halston Lane dribbling up into the front court. Rams are going to try to trap him, but he gets away. Get it to Goldsbury. Back to Lane. There's the trap. Ball knocked away, but Lane comes. Wilmington gets the ball. They shouldn't foul. No, don't foul. Oh, no. There's only 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. So, but anyway, you got you to gotta do what you got to do. Down nine. Alexander Harper. Second foul on him. And Goldsberry is going to the line. Two shots. They just don't miss. That's 15 for Goldsberry. 13 for 15 from the follow line, too. Another shot for Goldsberry. Well, they miss after all. There you go. They round it out. 10 point ball game. B.A. Walker into the front court. Rams need a three. Walker lets it fly. It's good. Boy, that looked like a shot down at William and Mary. Rams need to get a turnover here now. Boy, Lane almost double dribbled that ball. Lane gets it back, bounces it to Goldsberry. Jeff Capel's out on the floor looking for somebody to foul somebody right. there. I thought Jeff's going to go over fouling for a minute. Four fouls on B.A. Walker. Another opportunity here for the Rams to get a missed free throw. Austin Lane will get two shots. 15 points for Lane, and that one is off. Joe, so you got to have every miss you can get right now. 
Get another miss here, knock down another three, and now all of a sudden it gets interesting. Free throw is off, rebound to Dixon. Got to get the three, off to Nick George. Ahead to Pelarosa. Pelarosa taking it down the lane, layup is good. Rams take a timeout. Now, it is interesting. Down five with 36 seconds. Remember, Robert and Sweeney Mary, we were down seven with 19 seconds. So well, it can be done. That's right. This is a full timeout. Let me see you 21 for 58 now. A little bit better here in the last couple minutes. Now, the Rams are out of timeout, yeah. though, now, Joe. Yeah, that helped. that hurts. But, uh, you know, the clock stops after every field goal, so now you got to score. All of a sudden now, D.A. Walker has 14, Michael Bowles 13, Jesse Pelorosa 11. Nick George only with seven in this game. We've got three guys in the double figures, as you mentioned. Uh, Michael Bowles, B.A. Walker, and Jesse Pelorosa. Harper's got six, Rowland's got six, and uh, Nick George has got seven, as you mentioned. But uh, nothing spectacular tonight, Robert. And primarily defensive efforts by both teams have been excellent. Ramp shooting percentage up considerably from what it was about midway through this half. But they really need something to break their way, a turnover on the inbound. Some more missed free throws or something. How quickly do you foul here, Joe? Oh, very quickly. I mean, you, you go for a steal, and if you can't get it off, off, off the first pass, then you gotta go and foul somebody. And Michael Doles is on the floor, and actually, he's got three fouls. I thought I saw where he had four fouls a moment ago. Into yeah. Spencer, and Doles knocked it away, out of bounds. There you go. Last touch by Spencer. Brad Brown out, can't believe it. Now let somebody knock in a three here. You really don't need it, but it'd be nice. Which Capel giving his team the offensive call from where the ball's inbounds. Boy, a three would really tighten your neck. Tighten your collar a little bit, wouldn't it? Oh, Lord. Michael Doles gets it to Nick George. Back to Doles. He's thinking about that three. Stepped inside the arc. Knocked down a shot. It's a three-point game. And they've got the ball back. Doles will try it again. Go! It's tied. Michael Doles. Unbelievable. We are tied oh, up. Don't foul, don't foul. Goldsbury ahead. That's all right. Go overtime if you have to. The shot clock is off. The game is tied up. Goldsbury is going to go one on one with Pelarosa right here. Goldsbury spinning. Goldsbury in traffic, leaning in, off balance shot, rebound to Goals. We're going to overtime. Oh, Lord, Robert, I can't even believe what I just saw here. And the fans are going absolutely mind. Oh, my Lord. And wow. Brad Brownell came all the way out on the court to get all over Dan Stripler for the call a moment ago that gave BCU the possession of the ball. I don't believe we are going to overtime. What an exciting game. You can't count these guys out for anything. I'll tell you what, credit the defensive pressure. Wow. I, Robert, I'm speechless right now. I know we got five more minutes to go, but I am totally speechless. We're down 14 Eight. points with two minutes to go. Well, with 47 seconds to go, we were down nine, weren't we? I think we were. Unbelievable. Yeah, what a finish. I mean, this is just unreal. Wow, what a finish. Perry Sasinski's over there, about to come out of his shoes. Look at Doles, who just took this game over. Wow. Well, look at that now. I think somebody tipped that. Yeah, somebody tipped that. He just took this game over right here. And then knocked down the three. Michael Doles has 18 points. He had two at halftime. And he really stepped up on senior night. Yes, he did. Well, he said, we can't lose on senior night. 
Now unbelievable, yeah, really. And some people who have started maybe to leave are starting to come back in well, their seats now. I hope somebody didn't leave here in, in you know, a couple of minutes ago, because this is incredible. Fans are going crazy. We got another five minutes for you. Yeah, why not? Now you do have B.A. Walker with four fouls. You got to keep an eye on that. Yeah. Spencer has four fouls for Wilmington. Oh, that was that was crucial right there. Well, if you come back from 14, you don't mind falling up behind two no. on the first possession, <laughs> I, I maybe, huh? So. We can quote the famous Jack Buck. I don't believe what I just saw. And now George and Goldsberry oh, nice get tied job. up for a jump ball, and, and Goldsberry can't believe it. Well, Nick was all over him, but he had, the, he had his hands on the ball, Robert. Possession arrow to the Rams. Has VC ever had a lead in this game? Yeah, 2 nothing. All right, let's get one here. Boy, what a remarkable show of poise in those last couple of minutes to come back. Michael Dole's trying to shake loose. Doles had it stolen away. Ball loose on the floor. Doles dives on it, rolls over, and Goldsberry jumps on him, and we get another jump ball. Yeah, now VCU did have that one timeout that they garnered here for the overtime. Rams and the Seahawks. Boy, they, this may be the last regular season game of the year, obviously, with the tournament coming up, and these two teams are scrapping tooth and nail. Oh, if you're on that UNC Wilmington bench, you've got to be stunned. Wow. I mean, I'm stunned, and I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here. Can't believe my eyes, but we got to finish it off now, Robert. Here comes Goldsberry. Colorosa drawing the assignment there. Off to Wyrick. They get it back to Goldsberry, going to work on the angle. But they look a little shaky now. is running them right out of their stuff. Ed Spencer steps into a three. That's a tough shot, and Calvin rolling with a strong rebound. Here comes B.A. Walker into the front court. Austin Lane drawing Nick George. George on the wing, back to B.A. Walker. He knocked down a couple of tough shots in that run. Hit a huge three. Walker trying to get loose up high. Going to take the three. Oh. Around and off. Big shot didn't yeah. go down. Wow. Folks on the edge of their seats now after the first 35 minutes was pretty much UNC Wilmington's contest. Austin Lane picked up by Calvin Rowland, and Nick George gets him back. Spencer on the wing to Lane in the corner to Goldsberry. Inside, knocked away by Rowland. Man, good defense on both ends of the floor here. Uh, it, it's tremendous. It's, it's a clinic. Yeah, Mark Klein, he, he, he discarded jacket, tie, everything. D.A. <laughs> Walker to Nick George up high, going to work on Halston Lane. Leans in, it's blocked. Aaron Coombs blocked it. Uh, they won't call a foul on that either, you know, because he's forced the action. I think that's all seen enough. No one has... That he knows that it's not a foul. No one has scored in the overtime yet. Goldsbury with Pelorosa stalking him. To Coombs, to Halston Lane, long distance three around and off, and there's Calvin Rowland again. Nobody can put it in the bucket in overtime. Michael Doles, Jesse Pelorosa now. To B.A. Walker. Man, you gotta be kidding me with this game. This is unreal. <laughs> You're right. Beckham Wyrick watching for the screen. Nice pass underneath the Pelorosa, posting up. Drop step into a layup. Nice job, Jesse. Very nice drop step there by Jesse Pelorosa. You know, even those guards can use those post moves because they work on those things. That's the first lead we've had in since 2 nothing. Unbelievable. It really is. Fantastic game. Boy, you... you you look like you're giving up for dead, pretty oh, much. Giving up for dead? Yeah, they were. They had uh, three quarters of the body in the in the grave. I mean, this was unbelievable. But you got to credit them. Oh, they came back and, and uh, did a nice job. Uh, you know, and the, on the offensive end, uh, they made it happen. 
Sit right here. Watch the little drop step. Keep his head up. Kisses it off the glass. But he kept his head up the whole time. And managed not to move his pivot foot on that little drop step because he stepped twice. Well, I think they're allowing that this evening. And then, didn't you say that one other time? Guy took about six steps. So he only took two, so. Yeah, he took two well, steps with the same hey, foot, hey. though. It was, well, he didn't okay. move his pivot foot. It still foot. counts. If you can't take it off us. There's a little girl having a great time. Well, how can you not? Oh, yeah, exactly. And not too many people have left this no, game, and, obviously. And this whole student section has been standing up for five minutes. We may have a court rusher here. You better uh, batten down the hatches yeah, here, Joe. Right. T.J. Carter for three. Oh, oh Halston Lord, Lane man. with a follow. Yeah, we had that boxed out. That's 17 for Halston Lane, and we're tied again. A minute 40 to go. Jesse Pellarosa to B.A. Walker to Michael Doles for three. Oh, oh no! Lord, Michael Doles. Are you kidding me? Now that's the big one right there, Robert, because that puts it on, you know, on the three now. You need to need to stop here. Goldsbury off to TJ Carter. Goldsbury's trying to get away from Pelarosa. Tough task. Halston Lane from long distance. And Goldsbury yeah. knocked it out of bounds on the rebound. Now, VCU's got to come up big on this possession, Robert. Boy, Halston Lane took that shot from the parking lot. Yes, he did. And he did he's earned earn a seat on the bench for that. Lane's the leading scorer for Wilmington in this game. Michael Rams, goals, 21 points. That's for VCU. Lane has 17 to lead the Seahawks. Here's Nick George. Only seven points tonight, but... Now Jeff Cable wants to spread out a little bit here, Robert, with a minute to go. Miraculously, the Rams have done what they've done without Nick George's huge contribution of the last few games. Rams running the spread. Doles dribbling and fouled by Mitch Law. Right, now that's big because now we're going to shoot the two free throws. He makes both and you put it to five with 52 seconds. Is Michael Doles taking over this game or what? With about two minutes to go in regulation. <laughs> he really has. And, and, and VCU is going to win this game. And I'll tell you what, this is going to be one senior night to remember for Michael Doles. The roof's about to bust off of this place. There's still 52 seconds left. There's Doles' line, which about 20 minutes ago didn't look so good. Uh, he missed the free throw, yeah, however. He, he needs to make this one. He needs to put it at the two possessions. Doles has got to make this one, as yeah. you said. Well, you've got to put it at two possessions. Now, you know, they can't get these so comfortable. They might have to hurry a little bit. Might go a little two for one with 52 seconds, but I don't think they're, they're thinking about that. Doles' his free throw is too strong this time and Coombs the rebound. That hurts. Okay, well, we got to play solid defense now. Got to stay on Goldsberry, the leading three-point shooter in the conference. Jesse Pellarosa drawing that assignment. Double team now. They kick it out to Lane, who's back in there. He'll take another long three. That's yeah. good. Uh, you know that's what he was, he was aiming for. That's 20 for Halston Lane. And all right, Robert, 35.6 seconds to go in the game, 35 on the shot clock. You take the last shot here? I boy, do. You, boy, you got to try to, I think, yeah. don't you? I do. You can't let them have another crack at it. Yeah, and you know what? The nice thing is they still have that one timeout left in case they get in trouble. And I'm sure during the huddle here, Jeff Cable will remind them of that. Boy, it's just a, a, a miracle that you're in overtime to begin with. <laughs> it really is. But still. Here's Michael Dole's big yeah. three-point shot. There have only been five points scored in this overtime. Well, one thing, Austin Lane has got to be guarded regardless of where he is on the court. Robert, you can't let him, uh, you can't let him step in. I mean, well, you know, a, he, he made that one from 30 feet. But he's a 37% three-point yeah. shooter as well. People forget about that. He was a, a tremendous shooter who started his career at Georgia Tech, and, you know, he transferred to UNC Wilmington. He can dial it up from long distance. So can that man right there, Michael Bowles, who has dialed it up in the last five minutes. The Rams have the ball now and a chance at the final possession in our first overtime. Just take your time. Take your time. Be strong with the ball. Be greedy receivers. They've got the one timeout left. I'd give it to Doles right here. Everybody's on their feet. 
B.A. Walker to Doles. I just stay, stay, I would just stay with it right there, Michael. Doles looks for Walker, however. Goldsbury's following Walker. No, he needs, to, he needs to pick it up. Okay, there you go. Good job. B.A. started to step in. Walker looking for somebody. We're down to eight seconds. Michael Doles going to work. Pull up jumper. He got oh, fouled. yes, why not? Now he's got to make him, though, Robert. There's five seconds left. You don't want a repeat of the Drexel game. No. For Bashir Mason, unfortunately, watching that game earlier today, we had to oh, see that yes. highlight again. <laughs> watching that Drexel Delaware game. Brad Burnell facing around. You really got to have ice water in your veins oh. here now. Well, Austin Lane's got to. He's got to come in on the second free throw. And he checked in a little bit yeah. too soon. Of course, yeah. he's in there to shoot those well, threes. That's not even a question. Don't give him that wide open look. Michael's got to make these two. Michael Doles at the line. Nice soft touch here for number one. It's no good. Yeah. Now, that complicates the matter. Lane is in. You know, when Halston Lane played at Georgia Tech, he scored as a freshman 15.3 points a game in Tech's three wins over top 10 opponents. Now, one thing VCU cannot do here is foul. 5.1 ticks. Keep him in front of you. Michael Doles is the reason we're in overtime. He gives the Rams the lead, but... Yeah. Well, Jeff Capel calls a timeout, and I think that's a great timeout right there, Robert. Now he could set it up. He could, you know, with 5.1, they're going to get a shot, but uh, hopefully it's not a good one. How about VCU now shooting the 40s? Did you believe that? Yeah, they, it was 29.5 like <laughs> with about, what, five minutes left in the game. Yeah. Well, Michael Doles is definitely the reason why we're here. He had two points at halftime. Yeah, and he's, he missed the three free throws there, but wow. I mean, you know, without him tonight, we, we're home in bed already. A one-point lead in overtime for the Rams, and it definitely looks like it's going to end right here now with five seconds left. I don't think we'll see a second OT. What are you looking for now, Joe, if you're Jeff Capel? What, well, you've got I, Halston I think, Lane and John Goldsbury each in the ball game that can shoot three-pointers. Well, here's the thing you can't do, Robert. If you double-team somebody and they give it up, somebody's going to get wide open. So you've got to really get play man-to-man. You got to keep him in front of you. You guard the guy throwing the ball inbounds. They uh, haven't no, done that I much of the night. I, I wouldn't do it. I just, uh, I just have him back. I keep everybody in front of you. Get every, somebody back. Lane is allowed to run the baseline. Yeah. Here. Now they're going to double team. No, this, this be good. Double interesting that he's inbounding you gotta the ball. You got to watch the guy. Yeah, that's the guy you got to watch. That's the guy you got to watch. Mid court. Ed Spencer's going to call timeout with 2.5 seconds. He slipped. As he called the timeout, he slipped, but Duke Edsel said it was a timeout before he slipped down. All right now, this obviously cuts down the uh, to 2.5. So again, now he's going to put uh, Jeff Cable's going to put Renardo Dixon in the game, which is really a good move here because he makes you, you know, throw up some errant shots there. Oriole guard the guy throw the ball inbounds. No timeouts left for either side. And you see the signal there from Mark Halstead. Right. Right down to the wire on this one. One point lead from the Rams. And after coming back all that way, you know, uh, we sure don't it, want to see a shot go well, in here. They, they owe us this one. Look at the, the game at Wilmington. We had a 10 point lead against Mississippi. You know, the man makes it a three pointer with a couple seconds to go. Against Drexel, Bashir makes it a, a 50 footer. Did you do all James that? James Madison. No, no, Tom Herman? did this. You know, okay. Tom, Tom has done a great comment against James Madison here. Go figure. <laughs> and, and that's about it. And then Nick George. Uh, uh, you know, misses with three seconds remaining on Hofstra. So maybe the basketball gods owe us one, maybe, would you think? Why not? That's how much time is left in this overtime. One point lead for the Rams. Now, that's, I'm going to give credit to Tom Shoup, our producer, for all this lingo right here. That for he the wrote. what if, yeah. yeah. For the what if. And, uh, how many right. games is that? That's five games. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. yeah. Well, if one of those goes your way, maybe the one in Williamsburg didn't. Who knows? Yeah. Dixon's going to guard the inbound pass. Oh, this is good. This is a good move here. But watch the guy guarding the ball, the, throwing the ball in. Yeah, because Goldsberry's is throwing it in, yeah. but do you have enough time to get it back to him? Dixon's going to guard the inbound pass. They get it out front to T.J. Carter. He can't get it off. Rams win. Oh, wow. Oh, no, no, no. He called a foul. No, no. He better be, he better be running out of it. Oh, he is. Okay. It's over. It's over. Wow. What an unbelievable comeback. I've seen comebacks. The kids are, st the students are storming the court. Holy Toledo. 
An unbelievable win for the Rams. They get the number two seed. That's amazing. And apparently we've got injured players on the floor yeah. and the students are stomping onto the floor so someone is injured. And you've got people storming the court. That's unfortunate. Well, I don't think, I don't see how uh, Michael Coles are lifting them up and they're dropping them. Well, it's senior night. Yeah, Calvin Rowland is the guy shaking up here. I've never seen anybody have a two-minute drill like Michael Doles had. Unbelievable. That, that kind of reminds me of uh, those miraculous football victories. Michael Doles was simply incredible. Wow. I, I can't, Robert, words cannot describe this comeback. And Calvin Rowland is the one yeah. who was shaken up. Well, I hope he's okay. And obviously, we never saw him get hurt, so. Now, there's some <laughs> with that. Jeff, Jeff Cables with Kelly Lemon. Let's check in real quickly with Kelly. Yay. Wow, what can you say? Uh, these guys showed a lot of heart to be able to come back. Finally started playing some defense and got lucky and made some shots. It's a good team we beat. Congratulations to you. Good luck in the tournament, though. Cable seems like he might be a little bit overwhelmed himself. <laughs> he should be. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I really, I'm speechless. And uh, now we got to get ready for senior night here. But what a really fitting end to a career by Michael Doles and uh, Derek Reed, two outstanding young men. And, and you know, you look at the careers they've had here, Robert, not only fine basketball players, but just uh, just really class kid. Well, due to time restrictions, we're out of time, as you can imagine, with the overtime. But what a senior night for Michael Doles and VCU with an overtime win by one. For Joe Cantapio and our entire crew, this is Robert Fish. Thanks, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time on Ram Replay, the VCU Game of the Week. So long, everybody.